Whether it's under there. a roof or outside or in a parking lot, Jeremy Pena has come through this postseason. He's already had his signature moment. Moments in the ALCS, that homer, and then the Jordan shrug as he's rounding the bases. Not to mention he's got an eight pack. He's unbelievable. He's been everything that the Astros could have hoped for this season and maybe a little bit more. Dero, um, look, you don't have any idea how a guy, what he's going to do replacing someone like Carlos Correa. Yeah. But I, I mean, and, and I was critical of the Astros of letting Correa walk. But I mean, how can you argue with these results? Not to mention, you talk about bang for the buck. They're getting that production that they got with Correa, but for a fraction of the cost. Yeah, I think we're going to focus on on the offense. Obviously, he's hit a ton of postseason homers, three postseason homers that have really changed the complex, getting the Astros to where they are. Lock in on the defense. Outside of the flip with him and Altuve, where he didn't know if Altuve <laughs> was going to be on the bag, so he flipped it over his head. You hit it to shortstop or anywhere he's standing, you're, you're pretty much out. All right, Robert brought something to my attention, and it kind of, I'm going to bring it back to Jeremy Pena having a little bit of an old school two strike approach, and now he has brought that to start an account. Oh, oh, he's going with almost a two strike approach, just kind of setting the foot a little bit, not moving his head, and allowing his hands to work for himself. Something that he didn't do in the regular season, and something that I think he's going to go back and forth with as his career progresses. Robert sent me this clip. I don't want to get this man's name wrong. Ari Alexander. Ari Alexander, KPRC Channel 2 in Houston, did a skybox. I know. And he nailed it. Yeah. And I'm going to steal it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cite my source because he's spot on. I'm going to add on a little bit to it and tell you why he's doing this. So let's get into the tape real quick. Talk about making adjustments, right? This is a super athletic guy. Let's the ball get super deep on him. Tight, big, strong, wiry pop for days. Hits in a great ballpark. So pause this real quick. Bring up the splits, S-Rod. And I'm going to take you through because on September 10th, he will face Otani. We're going to get to it. And then I'll bat with Shohei Otani. And he kind of changed that little leg kick. First 114 games, not bad. On base percentage, listen, he's going to grind there until he learns the strike zone through and through. 250, 285, a 410 slug and punching out about 25% of the time. The average has gone significantly up, 30 points almost. The on base up as well. Slug is through the roof, 130 points better. And his strikeouts have gone down. So give me a side angle real quick. Show him what he looks like. Pause. Get it back to when his leg kicks out of ties. Okay. I love this position. I believe this is one of the most athletic positions. Now, however you get there, the kids at home, you're trying to get into a load into your backside, whether you have to think in your mind back inside a back knee or into the back hip, whatever that may be. You're trying to get into a position to deliver a blow to the baseball, your best blow. If you think about it, you don't want to be out front, you're not hitting it as good. You want to be back here, bang, and snap off the backside. And that's exactly what he does. Sets the foot down, boom. On time, driving it out of the ballpark in Anaheim. But what happens when you're in that rhythm and timing throughout the course of a long season, they start flipping you some nasty breaking stuff. Dylan Cease, little slider away and you're out front. I mean, he looks like he's on time on these pitches, but you start to go back and get frustrated because there's a rhythm and time into <laughs> everything you do, and maybe you're pulling off just a little bit. September 10th, I'm gonna take you to Shohei Otani because he can make you start to wonder. You start to see that front foot. Run that back for me real quick. So now you tell yourself, and we're gonna get to Mikey Young and I'll get out real quick. You start to tell yourself, all this rhythm and timing, I actually feel like I'm not getting my foot down and I feel like I'm a little off and I'm in between the fastball and the slider. So what do you do? When you're struggling, set the foot down and trust the head and use your hands. And that's what he starts doing. I'm just gonna set the foot down kind of like Evan Longoria does. Just set it down. But he searches a little bit. Watch 1-1. One, one. He goes back to a leg kick. So he's trying, it doesn't feel totally comfortable to him. He finally pot commits to just setting the foot down, roasts the double right here, gets on first base and he's saying to himself, okay, 
I saw the ball a little bit deeper. Let's roll with this a little bit more. And he has stayed true. Now he's starting to see the ball next at bat. 1-0. Spits on a heater. Thinks that's up a little bit. Spits on another 97 in. Normally, if you got the leg up in the air, you might be swinging at that pitch right there. Nice play in the outfield. But check it out. A little bit different. And don't be shocked if you see him go back and forth throughout his career. Because this can become just a two-strike approach for him. So when he's struggling a little bit in his mind, he could just bail out. Mikey Young used to do it better than anyone. With no strikes and one strike, it was a firm toe tap. With two strikes, boom, set it down. Sweet Jimmy Edmonds. Just turn that front foot in. Mm. Look, he's about to tell Tino Martinez, I am so tired of carrying this organization. <laughs> oh, man, I loved it. Highest slug percentage in a single postseason. Randy Rosarena went bonkers. Lord. Lawrence saw that. Andrew Jones, look at the Alan Craig sighting. Alan. And there's Pena kind of locked horns with Chipper Jones. So <clears throat> subtle adjustments, right? I used to do the toe tap when I tried to go for power. Boom. I was here. Boom. And then when I got to two strikes, it was bink. Just setting the foot down, let my hands play for me. Refuse to punch out. Love it. Dusty says he acts like a 30-year-old. Maturity just off the charts. He's so young. Yeah, uh, and uh, he's definitely been a big part of what the Astros have been able to do this postseason, obviously looking for more success Thank you, throughout this uh, World Series. Yeah, great job, Ari. Good you know job. him, Robert? I do. I know him a little bit, yeah. He nailed it. He really he did. He called it the breakdown wall. I, I know, and, and I really like, uh, I, I like when, the, when the locals yeah, you got go out and take a chance a little bit. So that's really, that was really well done. So right. be sure to check it out.